currently got the pet fang from Thingiverse printing on here for the end of three. On this one we've got the replacement fan shroud which will obviously house this fan that sits on the front, like the same as this one, sits on the front. Uh, you get away with removing that metal box that's on the front of the ender and the part cooling fan as a fan and uses the original fan. Um, I will eventually upgrade it to the 15, 15 radial um, but I haven't got all the ones yet so I'll use the stock fan as is that I've never um, really used the original stock fan on a fang I could have um, but I'll just use that anyway until uh, I'll get around to ordering a radial, another radial like um, this one This will also be using um, the TH3D Easy ABL. That's what this mount is. Um, but I'll be putting it on the stock CR10 hot end for the moment. I'll possibly upgrade this machine to uh, ED3 Genuine. Um, possibly direct drive, but I'm not 100% as yet after seeing the um, video that's online, um, I, I think they had issues but I don't know whether they've sorted it, I'm really not too sure if I'm going to go direct or go back to the valve um, but we shall see, but this machine I've got a Micro Swiss 300 kit on this one, which has worked out pretty well to be honest with you, um, more than happy with it, I've printed the Fang for the TH3D Easy ABL in Red Petri. I don't know if you've seen my last video, but this was printed on the CR10. Um, I haven't done anything to this. I haven't had to clean it out or anything. Really, really nice print. Um, that was a Technology Outlet Red Pet G. Which again, if you've seen my other videos, um, the big vase I printed on the CR10 was also in this material. Really nice material. So yeah, I'll be back um, in a while when these parts are finished. Um, show you the results. I'll possibly do a build video if anybody's actually interested. If not, I'll just keep the builds to myself it's not a problem I just thought I'd put this information out there so people can actually see the machines printing as a, I'm personally fed up of unboxing videos I cannot stand unboxing videos I don't want to see what's in the box but I don't know about yourselves I'd much rather see the machines actually working and doing what they're meant to be doing Although a lot of the information that people do put out there on these YouTube videos is really handy. Nonetheless, some of it pointless, like some of my information I'm putting out is probably really shite and you're not interested. <laughs>